Hello, my name is Sasa, and today I'm going to show you how to animate an R6 character in Roblox Studio. So I'm going to show you some tips, okay, to fix the rig. I'm going to show you how to make an idol animation, okay? I'm going to give you tips and about making idol animations for R6 models in Roblox that most of the characters in Piggy are made uh, R6 models, okay? So are using this rig. And also, I'm going to show you how to make a, not only an uh, idol animation, but also I'm going to show you how to make a walking cycle that looks pretty cool and natural with an R6. Okay, a pretty simple, did you check? Just very simple frames. Okay, and also I'm going to show you, okay, how to make or animate a jump scare or piggy jump scare in this. Yeah. So it's going to be a very long tutorial, guys. Okay, but believe me, it is worth the time. Okay, my name is Sasa. Let's start with the tutorial. Well, as you know, in Roblox, we have two kinds of uh, rigs, okay, or bodies, the R6 and the R15. The R6, it is just this thing, okay? If you check, it doesn't have any elbows, no knees, okay? So, and the other one, the R15, uh, it is an improved version where you have more joints, okay? So you can like bend your knees, your uh, knees, your elbows, and these things, okay? So it is a little bit a better model, okay? But, well, as you know, in Piggy, all the characters or most of the characters use the R6 rig, okay? So today we are going to animate a this character using a uh, Roblox Studio, okay? And we're going to use R6, okay? So we are I'm going to show you some other things that you can do with your uh, animation. So in a way, this is easier, but also it's a little bit more difficult. Well, anyway, I just look for this model of Pache in the toolbox, and then I just added some parts because I wanted to modify it a little bit. So. Uh, thinking that it has like the Davy Jones thing, curse or whatever, okay? Oh, I don't know, the, the eye is not in place, but, but that's not important right now. You have your model, and then also you can check the model using Rigedit, okay? So you have Rigedit Lite or Rigedit Pro, okay? So I'm going to use Rigedit Pro, okay, that I also recommend, and I check the joints for this. Now, if you check here, we have the joints for the legs. Check, this is not very good. You need to center them. Because if not, they move a little bit uh, funny. Also the, ar the arm, check this arm. You need this where the connection, where the shoulder is, okay? There's the connection with the torso and the shoulder, so, and that is, in that way it's going to move a little bit better. Then I added this tentacle, Okay, made it is very simple in Blender and that's it. Then we have some weird connections here. We have like two heads, but J head, and then we have neck. So I guess but J head. I'm going to check it. Okay, I'm probably I'm going to get rid of these ones. Because if you check here, these are motor six, so that means that they are animatable, but we don't want them to be animatable. So I'm going to delete this big, big but J head hat and left eye. I'm going to get them uh, connected to the other uh, head because we have like two heads or something. So but we want to have, well, I want to have this, okay, as something that is just welded. So I'm going to destroy this and that's it. So well, now we're going to connect again head with this big, with the because I don't know if this is like movable, but well, we can leave it like that. So probably this is like welded, so it's not moving. But the second one, that is the one behind, uh, I mean, above this one, it's going to be like movable, the big two. So I'm going to create a joint here, and then I'm going to put the place where this, going, this thing is going to rotate. That's it. I guess that's okay. So, and then, I don't know if I'm going to animate the, the, the mouth, but well. Then we have more things. I guess the hat. 
the cat is going to be well that we don't want to animate the cat so we have the feathers well the feathers are here the feather but we don't want them to be animatable so feather with this one uh it's connected with one no, no, with anything and i guess that's okay now if you want to check if your rig is like correct just click on here and animation and then for example i check my head i move the head and check i have now it's not moving the rest of the things because we need to connect them but well we have the big the bigs and the hat so we now need to connect the head or this sphere or whatever is it so now this is head this one so i'm going to connect this one but first i select again rig edit so this is the way you can fix these models you find okay so let's connect head with head create weld that's it now head with left eye i guess so left eye create weld head with what else i guess with that's all okay let's check what do we have in the animation i guess everything is moving now we have a head with just one part because if not we have a disaster okay head is like quite moving okay now let me check it okay you can edit the way this thing rotates okay for example here check it's doing something funny but for example here now we go here again we select edit and then we just check the neck the neck check the neck has to be placed right on the at the bottom of the head in that case it's not going to look so funny now let's go here and check it's more natural it's like your neck right you don't have the neck like in that part well head is okay now the arms, we check the arms that we just fixed. Yes, they look better. Also the legs. Remember that we just have this R6 uh, model. Now we just check this one. Let me check if it's, yes. And I also add something for the sword, I guess. Let's add all. Okay, now let's check if the sword, it has a connection. Yes, we have this one, sword. We have the sword. We have uh, this thing. I need to rename this thing. It's connected with the sword. But I don't want to be welded. Uh, I want it to be animatable. So I select first the tentacle. Then I select the sword. And then I just create a joint. I move this joint over here. And in that way, I can animate the sword a little bit. Yes. Now you can move it and that's a little bit good. Yes, I guess that's okay. And we are ready to start animating an R6 in Roblox Studio. Okay, so well, there are many things that you can do. A lot of people like to use, uh, well, the normal uh, animation editor or some people prefer to use Moon Animator. Okay, so you can use both of them. So we are going to try to use first the normal one that is animation edition uh, editor. From Roblox and well as I told you then it's a problem with this well no problem but this is a different way to animate these characters if you move the torso well they have a torso that add the torso and that all the pieces if you move the torso everything moves because it's like the root of the character so that's not very convenient if you want this guy to look a little bit different okay so it's not pretty practical Let's re reset selected. So, well, something that I like to do when I have this kind of models, when I want to know where the legs are. So I like to add outside, okay, just normal thing. Add like some parts, okay? So for example, just to have track of the legs. Also, you have this, this kind of thing now, in Roblox, this pattern. And it's pretty cool, but sometimes it's you need to make your own things. So it's like having a shoe for this thing. In that way, I'm going to know where the original position of the legs are. 
for the bit okay I'm going to move this thing and I'm going to cover this like if this thing were a shoe okay over here and that in that way I'm going to know more or less where it's the original position if I need to move so probably you say what well, what a stupid thing as a yeah maybe but sometimes works or well, most of the time works for me okay well we know and we can keep track of the uh, legs so you you just keep them there and no problem with these shoes okay also it's a good idea to rename some parts of your uh, thing uh, before you animate uh, I, I need to attach this eye it's going to be a red eye here here also, we're going to do it with, yes, moon and uh, with moon animator, with the rig edit. Okay, let's make it like that. And I'm going to enter to the model. I'm going to go here, select the head. We go for head. And then we just uh, look for this part. I don't know where is this part. Let me check if I can click on it. Maybe getting closer. Yeah. You just press oh again head shift and create weld and now in that way it's going to be connected to this whole ring now we check just if the parts have a proper name for example this one it has to be right on uh, this one probably this is like the infected part of the face that I added so infected face that is not animatable so it's not very important but well so this is the head tentacles tentacles uh, where I guess we can live with the rest of the things like that I hope and this is what oh, this is the eye eye red or red eye but well anyway let's see if everything stays Okay, so if we move the head, yeah, everything stays there. 